Hi, I'm Merrick Tomato. Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead, the final season. We're gonna have some, uh, it's summer when I'm recording this, so I put some, uh, some lemon juice and water. It's a nice refreshing drink and I like it. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Okay, cool. Thanks, kiddo. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's in here. Oh, you made a friend. Hey, Clem. Hey, he's talking. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? <laughs> they... These were the people who protected us. You do a very good job. Where are they? I've never seen one before. still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. We're guests no, here. it's not. AJ. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. I like the heavy metal shirt on the wall there. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Yes. Can I help Marlin? you? Marlon? Oh, puppy doggy. Stay yeah, back. Isn't calm, Clementine? Head dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. She doesn't seem that frightening at all. She seems adorable, and I love her. I want to pet her and hug Sit, her. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? What is this, Aladdin? Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. Oh, ho, ho. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. <whistles> lie down, Rosie. Such a cute puppy. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. How nice of them. Wow. Well, what a dick. Quite. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This 
This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. Walkers, I'm assuming. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. Mm. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. And hunting area. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. Yeah, I'll help you. lost so much. Friends. Siblings, I... I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. What? Ha. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I get you. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. I'm gonna go hunting. Let's go do some hunting. <laughs> yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat. Both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. Yeah. All right, let's get going. I like Marlon. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. 
So watch where you step. Please. I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Shut up. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Oh, you too? I thought I was the only one. Me too. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Sorry, Azim. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. No one can afford to be short-sighted. You have to have a backup plan if you want to survive. Damn right. <laughs> you think you're clever, but you think way too small. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. Walkers. And what if you don't make it that far? Sh shut up a second. Like a walker pin. Don't be so fucking loud, dumbass. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to do the pragmatic approach. You can stand. So dramatic. Which way did uh, Seam went this way? Come to hunt? Yep. I hear something rustle around in here. Let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. You a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You should. I don't like this idea. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Kev's one. You weren't lying. You're a damn good shot. Gonna need a few more like this if we're hoping to eat, though. I saw some others run this way. Ah, shit. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry about it. At least it's not a wasted arrow. Our arrows anyway. Clem! Clem, come here. Busy, AJ. Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why to get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, uh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny either. Yeah, it's not even thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now or what? We caught one we're rabbit. Lean tonight. We're not mad. We're not done. I'll take this back. 
You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't going to be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. A jawless walker. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, locks busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. But we didn't know, so we had to go carefully. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, come on. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food, you know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. Didn't it blow up? You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. Anything's better than nothing. So we have another group active. That's a lot of walkers. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. Dead. It's either die so many of them are jealous. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. 
The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Louis, I vote Louis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. Okay. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! They smell us. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. Someone knew that would happen. Yes, these will be perfect. Clint, look. Try it out. See if it works. Hey, light. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Okay, we got two jars of food, some mango. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. 
If I don't have to. Who are you? My name's Abel, and I'm hungry as hell. Yeah, you stole our food. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> Miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. Agent, get down! <laughs> You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Music sounds very Italian horror. Kill the man in the worst way possible. You are not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Take y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim! Bitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, we killed him. Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. <laughs> Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. 
What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? He's Walker food. Relax. What if there are others? What if they come looking for him? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. If they see him, they'll think, just oh shit, Walker's yet. got him. Fuck! Calm the, the fuck down, here? bitch. She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means. Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. And who the fuck are you to hold anyone responsible for anything? Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Thank you. Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Lewis reminds me of a young King Ezekiel. Don't worry about them. Especially with the coat and the dress. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but... Not scared. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. Well, I never I thought of it doubt that it. Way. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Bad people don't wind up there. I don't know. They might let in a few. And Minnie and Sophie always like the bad guys in stories. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes, I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You wanna be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours.
It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Things are um, going too well. I wonder when when shit's gonna go wrong. It's clear. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? No. Nope. Two more minutes. No. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh! <laughs> It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. The ranch? That was season one. You weren't alive Do you yet. like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games, and the walls make it feel safe. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Uh, let's put up uh, the, that uh, tens drawing. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's not how you take a compliment, kid. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Time to sleep. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. <laughs> One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. Doesn't sound great, not for us. What the hell? There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going yeah, on. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I know.
farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. This is a bad idea, but I guess we have to go down there. It's gonna be some minor thing when we're gonna get thrown out for it. I just know it. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. So, what is it? Damn it, Rudy. You don't even know for sure it was there. She also said he got bit, which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You Damn know that- shit! Nothing to you! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? No, they probably don't. It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to this say. This is a bad play. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what- Shut up! What'd you say? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You couldn't be okay. I promise. God damn it! Hell! What did you say to I told you not to say it! How? What can I do? Just, just, stay with her. There, there, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? I don't know! First aid kit? Yeah, they did the song Wolf. Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Featured the end of episode one of the show. I, I, I can't see. 
see? Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Don't worry about that now. Just, just try not to move. You're a good person, Clem. That is a I would lie. to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Marlon, you son of a bitch! Don't do I'm this! Sorry. I can't let you talk to the others. Damn it! Marlon! Anyone! AJ! Huh. There's a gap. If I could find something really thin, I could force it in. You didn't bring your knife match. with you? Oh god damn it, Clem! You're smarter than this! That's bad. Is that a... It's a ruler. Yes, this will work. It's rare you get some good old fashioned jump scary in, uh, <laughs> in a game like this. And I'm gonna get kicked out for murdering her, I bet. <sighs> Oof. Should probably stop, but I kinda wanna keep going. Not what? true. 
Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Flim! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Yeah, he's not a good case for her. Christ, Clark, did you do? out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. I liked you, Marlon. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Chris, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? Coward. I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. That was the wrong You're play. Own. On your own. I'm sorry. You can do the right thing here, Lewis. Just step the fuck up. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody. We can't let her walk away. Clem, I, I... I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! Doing that. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Marvin. Be reasonable. Raise the okay? you, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> All of you! Every fucking one of you! You are fucking failing! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone! You suck at protection! Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call! I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school! If they came back, I'd do it again! Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable! They told me they died! I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean he shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them. Staves, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was... I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. 
You didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. Yay! Without violence. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. Oh! It's ten. Eight, no, AJ! AJ, no! Oh, fuck. What? I saved one for me. Uh. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, AJ, no! Oh, no! Uh, I, we left Lewis feeling lost. He felt lonely when you choose to hunt rabbits with Asim. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Marlon dead. Marlon was relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards his Vincent Brody. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. Brody, she was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. Sometimes I don't know where AJ again. feeling ruthless. AJ Stay felt comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed. He was satisfied when you s attacked Sometimes Abel at the train station. Violet so was pleased you complimented her fighting skills and she was flattered after, com after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. She was left her horrified. Um, left Ten feeling helpless. Ten was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. Well, one time, friends, I had a murder. Omar. I even had a bar. Was, was glad you checked in on him making dinner. Ruby was disgusted by AG's bad manners. Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills to you. I seem to appreciate that you helped him hunt rabbits. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. And Willie, I, I don't know what we did with Willie. And we found two of six collectibles. I don't like the presence of collectibles. I don't see the point. So we're going to get next time on uh, The Walking Dead for this extra long episode because this was just too interesting. No. Okay. Uh, next time we're going to be doing episode 2, Suffer the Children. So until then, ciao guys. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!